Praise God. We got the camera to set up right. Hey, everybody. Hello, hello. It's a little bit early this morning, but I wanted to come on and do this quick video. Hope everybody had a good night's rest. It is Thursday morning. Let's get it in, you all. Um, so this video, we're going to talk about dating saved men, dating Christian men. And I thought I would come on and share a story with you all um, about dating me dating a christian a christian man now this was years ago um when i was you know started going back to church it was before i even started preaching or anything but i was just going to church i found me a church that i like and i was going to church and i was dating this guy uh what was that child's name oh uh, his name was what was his name his name was Sean. Sean. I dated a guy named Sean. Well, actually, I dated two guys named Sean, but one of them Sean's son was crazier than about 10 bed bugs. No, he probably had about 75 bed bugs, baby. He was about crazier than 75 bed bugs. Ooh, I hope this don't go off. Can y'all see better? Okay. Yeah, but anyway, I, I was dating this guy named Sean, and um, he was he was a God was really really dealing with him. Now I won't save him. I was just going to church, you know, learning about the Lord and all that good stuff. So anywho, I took him to church with me one Sunday, y'all, and um, honey, he enjoyed the service and everything. I was I was just sitting there, honey. I was just there, you know, just there listening and learning and stuff. I won't end the clapping my hands. I won't end to saying hallelujah. I won't end to doing nothing that, honey. I'm just sitting down. I'm coming to the service. That's that's what that's where I was at, honey. So anywho, honey, he would get up and he would praise the Lord. Uh they the honey the, the preachers had got him in a circle, but laying hands on him, pray for him, and child the boy fell out, honey. They said he was what what we call it, what we call it um Laid out in the spirit, honey. The boy fell out, honey. When that joker fell out, y'all, I was so embarrassed. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, see, my mind, honey, let me tell you something, honey. My mind was in another space and time. And I don't mean space like in a section, baby. I mean space up there. Girl, baby, I was in another place, honey. When that joker fell out and hit the floor, honey, I put my head down. I was so embarrassed, honey. And then they come drug him over there to sit right back beside him. I didn't even want to sit beside the boy no more, honey. I was so embarrassed. So they sat beside me because I the one brought him to church. I'm talking about I'm dating him, honey. He was coming with me to church. I didn't even want to have nothing else to do with him, girl. Oh, Lord. <laughs> So anyone, honey, he still was drowsy, you know, you know, being in the spirit or whatever. But at that time, honey, I ain't know nothing about that. I just know he fell out. He embarrassed me because I was cute and I won't end all that now. Come on now. So anyway, honey, even on the way driving back to my house, because you know we lived together. Even on the way driving back to my house, honey, that boy still was sort of out of it. I didn't understand it. But I know one thing, honey. I looked at him and I told him, said, let me tell you something. <laughs> Y'all. Oh, my God. I said, look, you you got to go because I, I can't do this, honey. I sure did. And he didn't really say much to me. He was just like, I understand. I understand. Just kept saying he understand. Because I meant that thing. I looked at that joke. I said, let me tell you something, honey. I don't do falling out in the spirit. I don't do all that. I said, if you're going to be doing all this, honey, you got to go. That's what I told the saved man of God, honey. But um, God was dealing with him, and I don't, I don't know. So anyway, after that, honey, it was over. It was over. He went his way, and I went mine. But I think about that relationship now and how he was a humble man, and God probably really used him now. I don't know where he at, honey. Now it's been a good God. 700 years since I've seen or heard from him. But if he stayed with God like he was doing then, because we still... He still was going to church and stuff. I'm sure God is doing a great, great, great work in his life. And, honey, I didn't have sense enough to know that that was the man of God, honey. I didn't make him a bed. I didn't pour him a drink, honey. I didn't make him nothing, honey. I sent the man of God on his way. Oh, well, anyway, he probably a blessing to somebody else right now. 
But anyway, at that time, I won't end up, I, hey, I was just going to church and I wasn't thinking about being saved, saved. I was just attending the service, you know. But even in all that, I thank God. I really do because it, it, it still was in the process of God. But anyway, that's my little story about dating a saved man. That's the only really saved man that I have ever dated. All the other men that I have ever met that claim to be preachers, that claim to be saved, claim to be musicians, or claim to be in the church, they, they won't... Um, they were saved on Sundays, but far as during the week, especially the weekend, around midnight hours and stuff like that, they won't, they, they won't really uh, save men because they wanted to do other things. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They, you know, they always had excuses like, well, we human, honey, and God knows your heart, and uh, uh, we, God's still working on me, honey. I got to satisfy my flesh. Uh, God understands. They had all excuses like that. They won't sold out for, to God for real. So most of the men that I have encountered or I have dated that said that they were Christian men, that they were saved men, they won't. They won't really show enough saved. When I mean show enough saved, I mean they want the type of men that had that um could keep the clothes on. They want the type of men that had integrity with God. They look good on the outside, but in private, they, their lives dictated otherwise. So, um, that's pretty much my experience um, with dealing with saved men. And that's why it's so discouraging to me, because you really think these jokers is showing up saved, honey, because they're speaking in tongues in church. Some of them, like I said, are pastors, Sunday school teachers, but baby, they ain't a thank to them. They ain't no more saved than a um, pack of dog meat. They ain't. They not, honey. They got a form of godliness, but they ain't got no power thereof. So it's very discouraging. I understand the the um, Christian single women's um, struggles. I'm telling you, I really do. But that that that's been my experience. They they didn't save men. Then you could date save men that do have their bodies under subjection, but they don't um they don't have they don't really believe in um how can I say? They don't take it really, really serious. They don't take God serious. They just like I used to be, they attend church, they don't read the Bible, none through the week, they don't have a prayer life. They, they don't believe in casting out demons and laying on their hands, speaking in tongues. They don't want to do none of that. They just want to go to church, pay their tithes, and that be it. And they don't talk about God no more unless they sitting down to say grace over their food before they eat. But other than that, baby, they don't care nothing. They don't, they don't have no depth in God. They don't have a burning relationship with God, you know. So um, they just don't see it serious. They just see it as something... That's what we do on Sundays. We go to church. So it's I've seen men like that too. But like I said, that one guy that I dated named Sean, he he was really, really, really and when I when I say he was God was really dealing with him because there was times he didn't want to be uh sexually active. Cause he said he was trying to give his life to the Lord, even though we was in a relationship. Now that's what the boy told me, honey. He was in a relationship with me. And right then, I knew good and gracious well he had to go. Because, uh-uh, uh uh-uh, uh -uh. we ain't finna do that now. Because I won't say. I just won't. So, eventually, I'm pretty sure he knew we were unequally yo. Because he wanted to cut out a lot of things. He wanted to stop doing a lot of things. He didn't want to club no more. He didn't want to be sexual at no more. He wanted to go to church. He'd be in the room reading his Bible, honey. I was in the front room, honey, dancing to uh, Mary J. Blige or somebody. So, you know, and ain't that something you could have saved men and unsaved women? See, I was an unsaved woman at that time. Yeah, sure enough was. But dating us, but if I, if I was in a place I am now, oh, it would have been wonderful. It would have been so wonderful. But that's the type of man I'm, I'm waiting on God to send me now, one that love him with everything in him. And that's the type of guy he was. He really was. I don't know where he at now. But like I said, if he stay with God, I'm pretty sure he probably pastoring. He probably pastoring a church somewhere because he was, a, like I said, a real humble guy. I don't know how in the world he ended up with me. 
Mm. Anyway, because I won't say. <laughs> I won't say. Oh, I know, honey. It probably were those jeans I used to wear. Girl, I used to wear some some jeans that'll kill you, honey. Yes, I did, girl. I had a shape to die for, honey. Yes, I did, honey. I was a Coca-Cola bottle, baby. That's what got him. That's what got him. That Coca-Cola bottle shape I had, girl. Oh, I'm a milk jug now. Mm. Anywho, that's my story about dating save men. Y'all share y'all story. What's y'all how what has y'all encounters or what experience have y'all had dating save men? That's that's what I've been running to now. Like I said, it's 2020 now. They still got the same games. Still got the same games, unfortunately. But I know there's some out there. I just haven't met him yet. All right, let me go. That's my video for the morning. Talk to you guys later. Toodles.